The overall goal of this procedure is to create a microfluidic device coated with endothelial cells. This is accomplished by first fabricating the microfluidic mold. The second step is to create the PDMS channel. Next, the endothelial cells are seeded into the device. The final step is to culture the cells within the device. Ultimately, endothelial cell coated microfluidic devices are used to show cell to cell interactions in vitro. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods is that it provides the researcher with tight controls over the biological and biophysical conditions and is compatible with fluorescence microscopy. Though this method can provide insight into the biophysical cell-cell interactions in hematologic diseases, it can also be applied to phenomena such as leukocyte biology, cancer metastasis, and hematopoietic stem cell biology. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because conditions have to be tightly controlled for successful cell seeding. In preparation for fabrication, create a photo mask by submitting a computer-assisted design image of the microfluid device to an outside mask vendor. Once received, the mask is composed of a chrome layer on soda lime glass. Here, the microfluidic channel width is 30 microns. To begin fabrication of the microfluidic device, clean a bare silicon wafer with piranha for 15 minutes. Then. Rinse with deionized water for 10 seconds. Then immerse the silicon wafer in hydrofluoric acid for 30 seconds and rinse with deionized water for approximately 10 seconds. Next, using a spin coater, spin microchem SUA.